Hey guys, as you may or may not know, I am a huge basketball fan, and last night was the end of the NBA Finals, and uh, I want to talk about for just a second why I believe, and from my perspective, that the Golden State Warriors tried to take the easy way out. Now, if you're a fan of the Warriors, you're probably not going to like this, and I'm not here to necessarily criticize the Warriors team, but I feel that they really tried to take the easy way out. Uh, we remember back to 2015, 2016, they had a historic 73 win season, the, considered the greatest regular season team of all time. And then they go to the NBA Finals, and of course, they get up three to one on the Cleveland Cavaliers, and LeBron and Kyrie show a little bit of their magic, and they beat, they're the first team ever to come back from a 3 1 deficit and win the NBA Finals. And so that historic run, that historic season, ended in a loss. This after, of course, winning the championship the year before. So in the offseason, even though they have this incredible team and barely lost in the NBA Finals, they go out and they bring in Kevin Durant, who's considered by many to be one of the greatest players of all time and really considered by many to be the greatest offensive player of all time. So you take this 73-win team, this dominant force, and you add one of the greatest players of all time. And now here you have a team with four perennial all-stars. And so, of course, uh, for the next two years, the Warriors win in dominant fashion. They blow through the playoffs both years, win the NBA Finals, two championships in a row. Kevin Durant's the Finals MVP, and uh, it's just amazing. And then, of course, LeBron uh, decides to leave Cleveland, go to the Lakers, and it looks like the Warriors are going to have another historic run. They're the team to beat. And then what do they do? They bring in Boogie Cousins, a fifth all-star to their already dominant team. And uh, this is the first team to ever have five perennial all-stars since the Celtics of the 60s, who of course we know won 11 out of 11 championships in 13 years. So uh, right from the beginning of the season, everybody's writing off everybody else. The Warriors are gonna win the championship. We're just giving them, might as well just give them the trophy now. You got all the talking heads speaking about how this is gonna ruin basketball. And of course, for me as a fan, I'm from the state of Michigan. I'm a Detroit Pistons fan. We're in a small market. And so I realize my team's not gonna be able to compete with this. And so it kind of takes away the fun of watching the NBA. And, uh, and so here we have this team that has put together this super, super team. I mean, I think LeBron really kind of started the modern era of the super team, but now you have this super, super team, five all-stars, and uh, unbelievable. And so they have this great season. Of course, they battle a few injuries this year. Boogie had to wait a little bit before he comes back, but he comes in, and now the Warriors are going on this run. They enter the playoffs, they go through the playoffs, and they make it to the championship again. Earlier, the first round of the playoffs, uh, Boogie Cousins gets hurt. And so now they're not going to have Boogie. Well, the good thing for them is they already they still have four All-Stars on their team, which is more than anybody else has. And so Kevin Durant is having a historic playoff run, breaking records for scoring, shooting percentage, uh, all of these things he's dominating. And then, of course, we know that he ends up getting hurt. And they're real uh, low. They're okay, keeping it on the down low. They're not telling you what his injury was or why he got hurt. They're real hush-hush about it. But now, nobody feels sorry for the Warriors because they still have three All-Stars in Klay Thompson, uh, Steph Curry, and Draymond Green. And so, most of the other teams that are still in the playoffs don't have three All-Stars. I don't think any of the teams have three All-Stars. And so, nobody's really feeling bad for them. Well, uh, what ends up happening, because they have a good system, they start clicking. And they make it all the way to the NBA Finals again. Game one, we find out they're going to get Boogie Cousins back. So now they're back to four All-Stars again. And it's crazy. They're going against the underdog Toronto Raptors. And of course, we know in the offseason, they traded some of their pieces and they brought in Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green and made them a, a really good team. But nobody thought that they could beat the Warriors even without KD. So they're playing. They lose game one. In game two, Klay Thompson goes down and he's hurt. So he has to sit out game three. Again, back to just three All-Stars. I mean, three All-Stars on a team. Can you imagine what that would be like? And so, again, nobody's really feeling sorry for them because they've been dominant for so long. Clay comes back, they win, they uh, win game five, uh, and then they decide, uh, they bring uh, Kevin Durant back. He's supposed to play. A lot of people weren't sure if he should have been cleared, but they bring him back and we know what happens, sadly. Kevin Durant, whether you like him or not, he gets hurt and all of a sudden it's a bad injury. They think he's gonna be out 
probably for all of next season. Nobody wants to see that, but still, yet again, the Warriors are down to three All-Stars. Fast forward to game six, Klay Thompson's having another one of his historic uh, performances. He's got 30 points in the third quarter. He's going off. It looks like the Warriors are going to win game six, force a game seven, and then Klay Thompson tears his ACL. He has to go out. He might sit out a good portion of next season. Of course, we know what happened. Spoiler alert. The Toronto Raptors win the NBA championship first in their franchise history. And it's, uh, you know, all hats off to them. A great celebration. Of course, a lot of people today on Sports Talk are saying it's a tainted championship. There should be an asterisk, but good for them. But what I wanted to talk about for just a second is how I think the Warriors tried to assemble this super team to get an easy championship, and it didn't quite work out for them. Um, and so in life, in business, uh, you're a small business owner, you're an entrepreneur, and you might be tempted to take shortcuts and try to find easier ways. And again, I'm not talking about not being more efficient. It's always good to try to be more efficient. But taking the easy way out doesn't always guarantee success. Uh, and you see with the Warriors that injury after injury after injury took what, from them what they thought was an easy route. And honestly, by adding some of those players, it really disrupted the chemistry that they really had before. And it, it, you saw it and it exploited uh, their ability to really play together with only just a few of those pieces. And so again, hats off to the Raptors and uh, the Warriors are a great organization. But what they did is they tried to take the easy way out. And they took those shortcuts. And so I want to encourage you today to avoid taking that easy way out. If you're uh, starting a business, if you have a business, if you're managing people, if you're leading some organization or you're leading a project, do things the right way. Don't avoid doing the difficult things. Don't try to find easy ways to make it happen or easier ways to make it happen, but just go at it. Go in for it, do the hard things, and get it done. And uh, I think that in the long run, that hard work, I know that in the long run, that hard work's gonna pay off. Now again, you look at the Warriors, and I don't wanna take anything away from those individual players. Those individual players have obviously put in years and years of work to their effort. But the organization as a whole really tried to find this easier route to get an easy championship, and it doesn't always work out the way that you think it's going to. And so uh, I encourage you, I implore you, I motivate you, please get out there. Do something big, do something great, and don't take the easy way out, my friends.